No, the the murderer murders children? Oh, that's unfortunate. The murderer murders pretty much anybody, but you know. Well, that is the reason why they were a murderer! <laughs> True. <laughs> Phoenix your isn't very smart. <laughs> Moon, you're challenging Phoenix a little too much. This is, this is the problem. But this is why you became Phoenix in this one. Oh, great. <laughs> Coco's been eyeballing that line, that that casting for me for too long. She's like, I know this is the perfect time. <laughs>
both and used Coco, a bear trap. Coco helped me. You got one. Tori got one foot, and then Coco got the other foot, and here I am with new shoes. Oh, no. <laughs> we missed my line. <laughs> you said your line. That's the line. Uh, <laughs> I used a bear trap. Yes, I'm afraid of the sound of thunder. And All right, Haruhi. I'm out with, you know, uh, a fucking umbrella. You know, waiting for the lightning to hit me. <laughs> you know, like an intelligent person. <laughs> you know, also with AirPods in because yeah. those definitely won't electrocute you. I also had a uh, what do you call it? A weather vane in my other hand. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> I was just tempting the gods at that mm -hmm. point. I wanted to say, come at me, motherfuckers. <laughs> so I put my AirPods on to block it out. <laughs> well, Your oh Honor. God. Oh my God! As that you, fried voice. As you can see, there weren't any contradictions in her testimony after all. Hmm. Wait a sec, Mia. That testimony just now. She said something that could totally change this whole case. Hmm. I wonder what it was. Mm, maybe I mean, sure wasn't things. involved. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> there was lightning and thunder, <laughs> like the new Imagine Dragons song. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> which I conveniently don't remember anything about right now. I don't either. <laughs> Your Honor, there's a problem with the witness's testimony. Wh what do you mean? Didn't you notice? She said there was lightning, correct? Yes, what about it? Well, lightning is actually a large discharge of electricity in the atmosphere, am I right? Now's not the time for a science lesson, Miss Fay! I told you he has negative two intelligence. <sighs> yes, your honor. Anyway, since the cause of death was electrocution... Isn't it possible that the victim died from being hit by a bolt of lightning? Oh! Ah! Ah! Hmm, I must admit that the thought had not occurred to me! Because I can't think. <laughs> uh, just what kind of thoughts do occur to this guy anyway? Mostly lunchboxes. Yeah. Mm. Mood. <laughs> <laughs> Same. This entire case is built on the premise that Mr. Doug Swallow was murdered. <clears throat> Sorry, vocal fry there. <laughs> but that very premise itself is mistaken. The defense believes that Mr. Swallow was, in fact, the victim of a stray bolt. It appears the defense may be on to something. Could it be that the death was actually accidental? All right, you did it, Mia. I'll taking that nut. <laughs> oh God! I'm hurt that you have such a low opinion of me, Miss Faye. Um, but mood, though. Everyone does. <laughs> Pickle man. <laughs> huh? I'm not a fool, you know. Prosecution has done its research, Your Honor. We found that there were no lightning strikes on that day at that location! What? What's more, we have evidence that the electrical cable is definitely linked to this case. Evidence, Mr. Payne? Well, what is this evidence? I I don't know how to pronounce that word. How do you? Affidavit. Yeah. This affidavit. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Oh. And who is this affidavit from? The pharmacology students who were conducting experiments in their labs that day. 
Allow me to read out to the court the testimony of the pharmacology students. All equipment in the labs lost power all of a sudden at around 3 p.m. that day. Was it a blackout? All of the lab's equipment runs on high voltage, Your Honor. So you're saying the equipment lost power because... Precisely. They lost power because of the severed electrical cable. The power outage occurred at approximately 3 p.m. Which fits the time of death listed in the autopsy report. Exactly. In other words... The victim died as a result of touching the severed electrical cable. Or causing severed electrical cable. According to the students, the cables were very old. They were planning on having them replaced in the near future. Hmm, I see. Apparently, the cables had become so brittle that even the smallest bump would have caused them to break. It used to they would have, you know, like, done something like, you know, not let them enter that area until it got fixed, but whatever. This is America. <laughs> That's not. This is this, this is, is the most Tokyo. accurate. This is the most accurate version of this is actually America and not Japan. <laughs> like, yeah. Japan would be much more responsible about this. Mm -hmm. However, there's one thing that troubles me. If the cable could have been broken by any small bump, then it wouldn't have snapped if it hadn't been bumped into. Correct. Well, I suppose that you could say that. Did you just have a thought? <laughs> Here comes a thought, guys! Oh my god. Brain went to worse memes than that. <laughs> hmm, Miss Faye. Do you have any thoughts regarding the cause of the severed cable? Y your Honor! Not really. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't like how this is looking one bit. I have to come up with something to try and regain the momentum. If it pleases the court, the defense would like to state its opinion. Well then, let's hear it. I thought he was straight up gonna tell her no. I was gonna fucking lose <laughs> my shit. He's so... so weird. <laughs> like... Who or what was it that caused the cable to break? I it's the cookie. Fucking <laughs> Hmm. So we've got this bit of evidence, this bit of yeah. evidence, and these profiles. <laughs> it was the prosecuting attorney. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> no, 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 no evidence. I, I oh, need to look boy. at evidence. I want to look at that affidavit. Okay. Can we? So okay, we old, can't look at it any closer. Yeah, the old power cable broke due to some sort of impact on April 9th at 2.55 p.m. Okay, hold on! <laughs> There's a contradiction in this game! <laughs> <clears throat> because when they were talking about it, they said it was at 3 p.m., not 2.55 p.m. That's five minutes difference! They well, also they said, said that... They said approximately. Okay. They do Fine. windows in this game. Fine. 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 <laughs> Count your approximities. <laughs> Alright, I'll give you a hit I also... on the profiles. Okay. Uh, I still have no idea. <laughs> he currently has a cold. Oh, okay. Your Honor, please think back to Mr. Wright's testimony. The defendant's testimony? He said that after he pushed the victim, he heard a loud, sharp noise. Now, this happened at around 3 p.m., correct? Yes, that sounds right. Wait, are you saying that? The lab equipment... Excuse me. 
No. It's not me this time, because I had my mic muted. Hey! It was me this time, because it reminded me to go feed the kitty cat. Oh, boy. The lab equipment lost power at 2.55 p.m., which fits right in Mr. Wright's timeline. In other words, it was Mr. Wright's shove that caused the power outage. Mia? Mia? Hmm. Yes, the prosecutor of uh, prosecution totally also came up with that same conclusion. Uh, and it was that very shove that caused Mr. Swallow to be electrocuted. I'm afraid I can't agree with you there, Mr. Payne. What's that supposed to mean? Take a good look at where the victim landed after being shoved. See the umbrella? It's by the electrical pole. That's right, the victim banged into that pole as a result of being pushed. It was that impact that caused the cable to break. Hmm, well, that makes sense, and then the victim was electrocuted. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but no. That doesn't- it doesn't make sense at all. If the victim was shoved into the far pole, then he couldn't have been electrocuted by this severed cable in the foreground here. Eek! In other words, someone other than my client must have electrocuted the victim. Suddenly getting messages on Tumblr. <laughs> order! Order in the court! Ah, the lamentations of my enemy. How I've longed to hear them. <laughs> Mia. She's a little bit of a sadist, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was also getting kind of bullied the fuck out of. Yeah. Earlier, so. it, it's true. The defense is absolutely correct. There doesn't seem to be any way- Um... Um, Mr. Judge, sir? May I say something? No. <laughs> the Madame Attorney's explanation... She said some things that are a little different, and I remember them. What? What? What the? <laughs> Please, just once more? May I please testify one last time? Please, Mr. Judge? Of course it's alright! Just go right ahead and give your new testimony. This is it. Finally starting to show her true colors. Hmm... Mmm, well... <laughs> what I witnessed, part two! What more lies can make, I don't know. The truth is, Feeny pushed him twice. The first time was into the electrical pole. That's when the cable broke. Then Dougie <laughs> tried his best to run away from him. But Feeny caught up and crashed into him from behind. The cable snapping, and Dougie being electrocuted, it all occurred in less than a minute. <clears throat> so, after being shoved, the victim got up and tried to run away. And that is when the defendant pushed him for the second time. I'm so sorry, Feeny, but I... I just have to tell the truth. <clears throat> Am I doing the right thing? Am I, Mr. Judge? Of course you are, my dear. As painful as it may seem, you are. God, imagine if I talked like this all the time. <laughs> I would ha have ended our friendship a long time ago. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Just because your voice is way too breathy. <laughs> That's the point of it. It's supposed to be, like, <laughs> so bad. Yeah. 
Now then, Miss Fay, you may proceed with your cross-examination. Imagine if I talked like Joel Heyman all the time like I am now. <laughs> hmm. I am absolutely pulling on, like, a cross of Professor Port and Professor Ublick oh, for this. That makes more sense, because I was like, who, which one is that? And then I understood <laughs> when you said the professor's names. Yep. Okay. Press. The truth is, <laughs> the truth is Feeny pushed him twice. We're gonna push you in a minute. <laughs> Moon. <laughs> Miss Hawthorne, previously in your testimony, you said the following. Actually, I didn't see the moment he pushed Dougie. I was hoping that you were going to mimic the voice so bad. <laughs> no. I can't. <laughs> I know. I, I'm sorry. I wanted to protect Feeny. Feeny! 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 <laughs> I hate that she has that nickname for him! Because <laughs> now every time, my brain's just like, Feeny! <laughs> I mean, that's how I feel like anytime Phoenix does something wrong, my brain is screaming that. <laughs> that's amazing. So every, so... Time he's, uh, every time he's on the screen? <laughs> yes. yes, actually. <laughs> Which, to be fair, he's not always on the screen, so at least there's that. But, like, in the, the other... Uh, the, the other part of the, the sessions that we've been doing, he keeps bringing a child around to, like, murder areas and it's like, Phoenix. Get someone to babysit her. Please, I'm begging you. This is terrible. The worst thing you could do right now is bring this poor child around to every fucking crime scene. He's about as good of a guardian as Bayonetta. Jeez. <laughs> uh, Bayonetta's better, but marginally. She takes that child into too many dangerous situations. Literally, there's a murderer, and <laughs> Phoenix is like, yep, yeah, this is safe. <laughs> this is safe. We're gonna bring a child right to the murderer's doorstep. Yep. No, oh, the, the murderer murders children? Oh, that's unfortunate. The murderer murders pretty much anybody, but you know. Mm, well, that is the reason why they were a murderer! <laughs> True. <laughs> Phoenix your isn't very smart. <laughs> Moon, you're challenging Phoenix a little too much. <laughs> This is- this is the problem. <laughs> this is why you became Phoenix in this one. <laughs> oh, great. Coco's been eyeballing that line- that- that casting for me for too long. She's like, I know. This is the perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you basically lied to the court? I was a bad girl. I know. Um, Mr. Judge? Yes. Would you please, please forgive little old me? <laughs> of course he won't. What you did? Oh, come now. It was just a little old white lie. We'll forget it this time. Please be more careful from now on. All right. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Judge. Not at all. <laughs> I like how Mia yeah, I actually tried to talk about perjury in this universe. Because <laughs> that's what I'm screaming about every yeah. time. The, literally, this entire game is perjury the game. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, there's so many things that immediately... Like, literally, Coco, this case in a real U.S. court would have ended, like, with the first thing that Phoenix said. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I know. But if they made it realistic, there wouldn't be a game. That's exactly. true. Phoenix wouldn't be a lawyer. He'd just have a cookie. <laughs> he would just have a cookie. And not complete his art degree. I mean, that's just all of us, isn't it? <laughs> I never went for an art degree! I yeah, that's art fair. Acting. <laughs> and somehow ended up in law. Yeah, mysterious ways. So basically, I pulled the phoenix anyway, so... <laughs> Oh my God. I went for something else and somehow ended up in law. Uh, okay. <laughs> Not sure how that happened. The judge had better be more careful himself. Dark Alley is friendlier than that girl. No. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. The first time was into the electrical pole. That's when the cable broke. You're saying you actually saw the victim get pushed into the electrical pole? I know he doesn't look it, but Feeny can be a bit of an imp. 
when he wants to be. Oh, really? I mean, he swallows, right? <laughs> but I never imagined that he would cause an electrical cable to break. Feeny really is scary when he gets mad. Yes, he sounds like a very dangerous individual indeed. Brain cells. He does not have them. <laughs> then, Dougie tried his best to run away from him. So, let me get this straight. You were happily listening to music on your AirPods while you watched this scene unfold? <sighs> Miss Faye, I'll have to ask you to stop badgering the witness. That's my job. Um, I wasn't happy. I was so scared that I couldn't even move. All I could do was stand there and cheer them on! Hold on! It was... Huh? Che cheer them on? What do you mean by that? Well, I wish the best for them both, and that they would each give the fight their all. You know, like in WWE? Hmm, that's very sweet of you to be so supportive. Judge... And Judge. what happened after that? Judge. Hmm. Judge, but Feeny caught up and crashed into him from behind. That doesn't sound quite right. There were handprints found on the chest of the victim's leather jacket. Mr. Payne, were there also prints found on the back of his leather jacket? Well, um, no, there weren't. Madam Faye, may I suggest that you listen a little more carefully? No. <laughs> huh? I said that he crashed into him from behind, right? My Feeny wouldn't leave any prints behind in that case, would he? <sighs> the cable snapping and Dougie being electrocuted, it all occurred in less than a minute. Did you actually witness the moment the victim was electrocuted? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't actually see it. I... I turned my eyes away! That's understandable. Yes, indeed. It would have been a horrific sight for anyone to behold. If I don't figure out the contradiction here... It's all over. She didn't have much time to come up with her lies, so this is my best chance. There must be a hole in her testimony somewhere. Think, Mia. I'm surprised Mr. Hemorrhoids hasn't chimed in at all. Mm, that's because oh. he's in the library. Oh, that's right. He did leave. I forgot. Mr. Hemorrhoids is not in the building right now. Well, he is, just not in the courtroom. He ran away. Uh, so what are we going to press? Hearing... <sighs> Let's see. The truth is, Feeny pushed him twice. Go on. First time was into the electrical pole. That's when the cable broke. That seems reasonable. Then Dougie tried his best to run away from him. This is where it starts not sounding as believable. But Feeny caught up and crashed into him from behind. The cable snapping and Dougie being electrocuted. It all occurred in less than a minute. Again, does not sound believable. Fuck. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait. Can we go look at the evidence real quick? Yep. Can I take a look at the watch? Uh, hmm. 
So that says 255 on it, doesn't it? No. That looks like Wait, it says... that says 305. Mm. So the photo was taken at 305. Wait, if the watch was broken from the electrical shock, the electrical shock couldn't have happened at 255. Hmm. Shall we present that? Sounds like Coco's all for it. Yeah. Let's do it. That's enough, witness. I'm afraid I don't understand. You will in a minute. Could you please take a look at this picture? Oh, that medicine. That's the one Feeny likes to take for his gold. It's not the medicine I want you to look at. It's the wristwatch. And with that, we will leave this episode off right here. Thank you guys for joining us, and see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye! Very -bye. just the last two ones. Or like the th three ones. So cool to stalk the halls when it's dark and quiet, I even mean, with so many terrible things happening all around us. It felt like Chloe and I were working while walking towards the center of a great cosmic mystery, something bigger than any of us. But we can't suck as master spies and we didn't have our key for the principal's office. No words would matter one power at hand. And of course, Dr. Warren Graham. He came through with a bitchy minibomb made of sodium what the fuck ever. <laughs> I probably learned more putting those ingredients together than the entire semester so far. Sorry, Miss Grant. Warren is the star student here. He tries so hard to help. Maybe too much, but what's wrong with that these days? I'm so grateful he's on my team. Talk about being in the Sanctus Sanctorum, thank that in class I barely passed. Oh, Blackwell. I did feel freaking weird about being in the principal's office after midnight, going through his files and laptop with Chloe. She was way too into it. Technically, we could be arrested and thrown in jail. Yikes. I just pretended that we were on a very special episode of the Wizards of Waverly Place. You know, just a couple of wacky Sherlock's investigating the school for a good cause. <laughs>